my friends, welcome back to the garden. Today you're going to come with me as I visit a very special client, a total VIP, my mama. This past spring, we had opted for something a little different in her front containers. We utilized a snow pea centerpiece on a little trellis and we had planted it with uh, surrounded by violets ranunculus, grasses, and a vinca trailer, but the violas have gone wild and we are ready for a shot of summer color. I'm going to leave the snow piece centerpiece, say that five times fast, the snow piece centerpiece for the next few weeks as they are just coming into peak season and they are to die for. While I was planting this out, my mom actually came out and said that my brother-in-law had fixed a beautiful spring pasta with asparagus ribbons, lemon, and fresh peas from the pots out front. So good. So we're going to leave those in and focus on the surround, knowing that I'll be back in probably just about a month to sub in a new centerpiece once the peas are done producing for the season. Prior to planting out a container, I always like to deadhead my product and make sure it's looking its very best. I also recharge the potting soil with fertilizer and always adding in a little bit of extra soil at the very end. Every few change outs, I will actually remove most of the potting soil and start fresh. For this arrangement, our focal flower is a classic. It is a geranium called Americana White. It's always a performer. The Americana White has a bit of a lighter leaf than the other whites, like a Tango White or Fantasia. And I really appreciate the contrast in this arrangement against some of the silver foliage that we are going to be bringing in. We'll be using a plant called that's commonly called Swedish Ivy. Um, its botanical name is Placanthus variegata. Of course, I always butcher that name, um, but I'm utilizing it as a bit of a second story filler. So not like the focal, not a trailer, but kind of that mid story plant that you really need. I love to utilize this one because it has a variegated leaf with a slight fuzzy texture. It reaches about 10 inches high, and as it grows, it will weave through the other elements of this container, really bringing it together. Now surrounding the base, kind of the edge of this container, I'm playing with a few different items. At the front, I'm bringing in a verbena called Empress White. It's just lovely and pumps out the blooms. It will gently cascade and soften that edge of the container. I'm also using an Artemisia called Fancy Fillers Sea Salt. Now, this one is a new one this year. It's not one I've used in years past, so I'm really excited to trial it at my mom's house and see how it performs. I had originally tried it in the front, but eventually moved it around to the side to make way for a sweet potato vine. Um, sweet potato is also known as Ipamoea. This variety is Marguerite, and it's one of my mom's favorites. Now you're also gonna see me play with another spiller called Calabracoa. This one is particularly lovely. It's a double white. Sadly, it just didn't make the cut. What I want you to notice is that the color of the Calabracoa and the color of the geranium, that leaf color is just too similar. And knowing that my mom loves texture and different leaf color and different leaf shape it was just out unfortunately it didn't make the cut so as I'm planting these out I suddenly remembered that I had also stuck in some forced tete tay daffodil bulbs uh, right before Easter so I'm just gonna throw these into my bucket here in the back and I will plant them out later in the landscape Now as I'm planting this, you're gonna notice that I like to start in the center and work my way outward. I will oftentimes step back as I am planting an arrangement and check for 
balance and spacing within the container. One thing that I will notice with more novice container gardeners is that they will have sometimes too little space where it looks like your party is all huddled right in the middle of your container, or will they will have too much space between their plants, making it look disjointed or like they aren't having a conversation. When you are designing your arrangement, you always want to look like the plants are in proportion to each other. You want them to look like it's a comfortable party where they're all mingling together. As I'm wrapping up this planting, I notice that I need another shot of silver. Luckily, I have brought Dichondra Silver Falls. This is such a great one for me. I love that it cascades down the side of a container, and it actually does really well in my containers that are very quickly draining because it doesn't mind drying out just a little bit. Thanks for tagging along today. I hope I've given you a little bit of inspiration for your summer containers, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.